Hey everyone, Nick here again with a quick data design tip for your survey analysis. I'm sure most of you out there have done some sort of a survey like this where you're asking employees about their engagement at an organization, an employee pulse survey. And so we have all of the items that we ask them to rate, all the, state, the statements here, and then we have the rating scale at strongly agree, agree in the middle, disagree, strongly agree. It's this five point fully labeled or grounded scale, pretty common to see in survey research. So I've analyzed all my data. I want to visualize it. So I think the stacked bar chart might be the best way to do it. You can see that I've already edited my chart pretty nicely so that things uh, are the trends that I want to show are easily seen. So I've really used color to highlight the strongly agree and agree section. And I would probably talk about this in the percentage of agreement. So let's group the strongly agree and agree together visually. And so I can really do that uh, pretty easily this way because I have everything ordered from positive on the left to negative on the right. So the strongly agrees are on the left and the strongly disagrees are on the right. What this does is it creates a common baseline here at the start. So it's really easy for me to, for my eye to go across the page and see this entire agreement section here. I've also sorted my data so that it's greatest to least by that top two box combination response. So you can see the highest statement, um, the highest rate uh, statement by agreement was I believe this organization offers competitive benefits the lowest rated agreement statement was in the past 90 days I have considered leaving this organization so that was actually a good result for us now what if for some reason I really want my chart to show from negative on the left to positive on the right so strongly disagree on the left to strongly agree on the right now before I understood this trick, I would go back to my source data in Excel and I would literally move my columns around. So I would have to copy and paste columns uh, from left to right to left to right and it was a pain. It took forever. I didn't realize that we can do this already right inside the chart. So just go ahead and click the chart. And what you're going to do, once that chart is highlighted, we're going to go up to the chart design tab on the ribbon and then you're going to hit this button under the data menu that says select data so go ahead and click select data this opens the data source menu you're actually if your chart is embedded into PowerPoint you're gonna see first a giant Excel document here I'm gonna take that out of the way because we don't really need it right now but then you're also gonna see the select data source and what I'm gonna do here is on the left we have all of my um, rating entries here strongly agree to strongly disagree down here you can see I've abbreviated them here and then on the horizontal axis we have each of the items here so what I want to do is reorder my rating items here on the left in this legend entry series so when you do this all you need to do is go over here to this little down arrow it says move down. This is where you can reorder the columns or the series of data in this section. So right now, strongly agree is at the top and in the chart, that means it's all the way over on the left. If I move strongly agree all the way to the bottom, it should move all the way over here. Now before I, I'm going to go ahead and do this, but you're, and you're going to see the data update in the chart, but you're not going to see the legend update because this legend is actually just text boxes and shapes. I wanted to do that because I think it looks nicer than the built-in legend, but I'm going to show you how to swap that in just a second too. So let's go ahead and reorder these rating items, these series of data. So I'm going to go ahead and click down till strongly agree is all the way at the bottom. So strongly agree is all the way at the bottom. Now I'm going to click on agree. I'm going to put that there too to the fourth spot. In the middle, I'm going to make sure is in the middle. And then strongly disagree, I'm going to put up so that it's the very first one. Now I'm going to click OK and we'll see what happens. There you go. Everything changed. All of the data changed. My colors still stay the same for each of the categories. My strongly agree is on the right and then agree, etc. But now I have to deal with these. So what I did with these is it's just a text box and a rectangle. I made them all the same size. I aligned them perfectly and I grouped each of these together. So there are f uh, five groups of objects, as you can see right here. So what I'm going to do, I, can, I could just drag them and move them, but I'm actually going to go up to my bright side tab. Brightside is a free PowerPoint productivity add-in that anybody can download. 
even if you have administrator um, restrictions, you can actually download this add-in. So I highly recommend it. There's tons of cool little tricks that you can do. So the first thing I want to do is swap strongly disagree and strongly agree. So I have to highlight both. So I'm going to hold down shift, make sure both of them are highlighted, and then I'm going to go up here to the select an object menu in bright slide on the ribbon, and you can see it says swap object. So I'm going to click that and it's going to swap these two. Perfect. I'm going to do the same thing with agree and disagree. Once you highlight two, uh, two or more objects, uh, it, this swap objects menu will open and become activated. So I'm going to click on that. And now everything is swapped. So that is an easy way to swap the order of your rating scale categories right in PowerPoint or Excel. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to get notified each time I post a new video on DataViz or presentation design using Microsoft Excel or PowerPoint. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.